heads. And this is going to be a simple experiment. Fire needs oxygen to burn. And how we put fire out is with carbon dioxide. And that's just there in the fire extinguishers. So let's learn just how to make carbon dioxide. This experiment, you'll need a candle and with fire lit on it, vinegar, baking soda, yeah, and that's what you need. So I've already poured some baking soda in this cup. And I poured some vinegar in this cup. The next step is pour the baking soda into the vinegar and use something to close it so the CO2 doesn't escape. Maybe a cardboard would be a good idea. And now tilt it carefully. I actually can't do it, so my mom's going to help me. Yeah, watch carefully. It's going to go out any second. Oh, did you see that? It just went out. Yeah, see, all those flames went out. Fire needs oxygen to burn. When we opened the cardboard, the carbon dioxide came, came out and then it put down the fire. And I'm going to tell you a fun fact. You might not actually believe me, but it's true. Something is always pushing us around, but we're so used to it, we that don't even feel it. And you might think I'm just kidding, but I'm actually not. And if you can't, guess what that is? And you can find it out by the end of this experiment. All I need for this experiment is an empty carton of juice or milk. So this is a very simple experiment. You see, it's completely empty, this carton. As you see now, the carton is the carton is filled with air. So now I'm gonna keep on sucking the carton and see what happens. Oh, did you see that? Now the carton has completely collapsed. And I need to show you something else. Now let's blow into the carton. If we suck on it, it will collapse since it has no air on it. If we blow on it, air puts it on the sides of the carton and makes it inflate. So now you got the answer to the question I asked you in the start of the video. Air possesses all the time.